Hi, Greg with a a Masonry. Again, we're on another a a Masonry job. This is a repeat customer. They called us in, they want us to clean up their interlock, make it shine just like the day we put it in about five or six years ago. Let's have a look at the problem. a a Masonry, an award-winning company servicing the greater Toronto area and the Golden Horseshoe. Okay, here's the problem. We have the polymeric sand and over time it's starting to deteriorate. And if we just leave it like this, water will eventually, more and more water will get into those joints, cause these stones to move. So we want to keep it nice and sealed. So we're going to call in our crew. We're going to power wash this thing nice and clean, get rid of all the polymeric sand within those joints. We're going to redo the sand. Then we're going to seal it. And this thing is going to look brand new when we're done. As most of you know who follow a a Masonry, you have seen that a a is not a company that stands still. Being innovative and constantly researching and adding cutting-edge solutions that provide long-lasting performance of work and materials is the formula a a adheres to. In this case, using polymeric sand to bond to pavers is a great industry standard solution. Here though, a a is taking that solution and adding to it an even longer lasting bond that will make the stone paver solution last even longer and beautifying it even more in the process. Polymeric sand is the most popular and useful filler used with brick pavers. It is a mixture of fine sand, adhesive, and is most widely used in paver joints. Polymeric sand is mixed with water, activating the adhesives and forming a strong bond that tightens upon hardening. It also bonds the pavers in the surrounding, making polymeric sand a sound solution for brick pavers. The dried and hardened sand keeps all the pavers in place without twisting or skidding away. The bonding lasts for years to come. Proper application of polymeric sand is important for making it last longer. When the sand starts to lose its bonding and integrity even slightly, that is the time to remove the existing polymeric sand and replace it with new polymeric sand. The first thing you need to do is remove all of the existing sand down to the bottom of the paver stones. Polymeric sand works best when used at full depth. A pressure washer works well to dislodge the sand to clean polymeric sand off the pavers, it is recommended to use 1600 to 2000 PSI for the cleaning surface of the pavers only. However, in this case, the crew needs to use a much higher PSI to get the polymeric out of the joints in order to replace it. Here you can see the crew spend the time that it takes to spray on the joints of the stones to dislodge the existing polymeric. As it dislodges, they continue to spray until all of the polymeric is out of the joints. As this is a larger driveway, you can see that it took a crew of three people to get the polymeric out. Once the polymeric is out of the joints, you can see that it accumulates at the bottom of the driveway. The crew are very careful to dispose of the old polymeric and make sure that the property is left immaculate from the work being done. Here you can see next to me the amount of polymeric sand and debris that we pulled out of one side of the driveway. Again, it's important to use the right tools. We want to use the right tools so we can get rid of all that debris right down to the base of the stonework, and then we'll be able to reseal it properly so it'll last a decade or more. Okay, this is another part of masonry that we're really getting into when it comes to restoration. We like to exfoliate cleaning stone, cleaning brick, cleaning interlocking. You can see over time there's allergy built up on this. It gives it that green look like it's been sitting in the grass. We're going to clean this, exfoliate it, bring its true natural color out, and match it to the rest of the limestone that's on the property so it's going to look like the day it was quarried out of the ground. Okay, we're at stage two of our reseal for this driveway of interlocking. You can see that we've blown all the polymeric sand from the mortar joints. We got down and got as deep as possible. So this stone is exactly the way it was when we first laid it. And that way we have uh, control over the application of the polymeric sand. We're not just going to dust over it and some of it's going to peel away. We're going to be in there a couple of inches with the polymeric sand to make sure that we have a proper seal that's going to last perhaps a decade or more. Also behind me, you can see the, lat the natural flagstone. That has also been cleaned up. We brought out the true color. The final stage to that will be just to reseal everything once we're done the polymeric sand. 
The next step taken by the crew is to put the new polymeric sand down on the paver stones on the driveway. In order to do this, the crew needs to spread out the sand on the driveway and then use brooms to brush in the sand into the joints between the pavers. It's very important to make sure that enough of the polymer gets into the joints so that a proper bond is secured. The crew take the time to ensure this happens so that the polymeric and pavers are fused together properly for a maximum bond. A driveway of this size takes time to get the sand in the joints thoroughly, working from the top of the driveway and gradually going lower and lower toward the street the crew continues to brush the polymeric sand into the joints of the pavers to create a uniform level of sand in the joints. The crew then go through the tamping process to shake the sand deep into the joints. This is very important to help in the bonding process. Again, the crew start at the top of the driveway and slowly work their way down toward the street, tamping the sand and pavers while brushing the stones continues. This process takes the time that it takes to make sure each joint is fully filled up with polymeric sand. With the joints fully filled with sand and the surface of the pavers fully brushed and clean of sand, the next step is ready to occur. All right, we're getting ready for our final stage. As you can see, we already applied the polymeric sand. We took our time to tamp it in. We gave it a light dusting with an air blower. That way, any exposed joints will be sealed up properly but it's gonna be nice and clean when they apply a little bit of water. Then the final stage is to seal this thing and then we're done. At this point, the driveway is now sprayed with a light even flow of water to sink into the polymeric sand and cause it to bond with the stone paver to make a solid surface. The water is sprayed to make a light misting over the stones and sand. You don't want to spray too hard at this point. The crew start at the bottom of the driveway and work upward. Once the light misting is sprayed once, the crew then do a second spray to finish off this part of the work. Okay, we're at our last day here on this reseal of this driveway. As you can see, if we left it just now with the new polymeric sand that we applied the other day, this interlock driveway looks as fresh as the day we installed it. But we're now going to go one step further to bring out the true luster and color of this material. The homeowner wants a nice glossy shine on the driveway. We have natural stone on the front steps. We're gonna do that with a matte finish. High gloss here. This baby's gonna look wonderful. It's gonna be the talk of the neighborhood when we're done. The first part that the crew addresses is the matte finish that Greg was talking about for the steps and porch section. Here you can see the crew spraying the light matte finish on the area. After this, the crew start with the actual driveway sealant. First, they start to roll the sealant on the edges of the driveway and making a fine cut where the stones meet the retaining walls and the like. Once the edges are cut, the crew can now start to roll the sealant onto the body of the driveway safely. As you can see, the crew wear protective masks, as the fumes from the sealant are very strong, and the crew need to take the correct protective precautions at all times on the job. Again, the crew start from the top of the driveway and work their way down, rolling the sealant onto the driveway. Rolling back and forth, they work their way down to the street. After they finish rolling, they go over the driveway, spraying the sealant with a second coat to make it even. You can see here the difference in the driveway from before the work was started to the finished job after the power wash, polymeric sand put in, to the sealant applied. As you can see, it really makes a huge difference to the aesthetic look of the stones in a big way. And here is the final job, complete with the driveway looking beautiful and protected to last a long, long time. So if you care for your home and if you want to get the right solution for your steps or driveway, make sure that you call the professionals at ANA and let them get to work for you to make your home safe and looking great from here on out. To schedule your next project, contact ANA Masonry today.